So, a word about Augustine's life. Uh, one of the great figures in the history of Christianity. For those of you who are into dates, we're 354 to 430. And he was a bishop in a place called Hippo, which is in northern Africa. And I think it's important for you to have a sense of just how great a figure he is as we start. So let me give you two images. One is if you had to have five people in 2,000 years of Christian history and you could only pick five, and they would be the brightest and the most effectual and the most important. He would be one of the five. One church historian has said, in the ancient church, he's the greatest thinker and teacher other than St. Paul. When I did my doctorate in eschatology, one of the things that was stunning to me was to sit down and for the first time since college, which was 11 years earlier, to read The City of God, which is one of Augustine's most famous works, and I read one chapter, and then I wept, and then I realized that in that one chapter I had read more profound thoughts than in any book I'd read in the 11 years since college. He, he literally leveled every single book I'd read. It was stunning to me. Uh, it's that kind of stuff, and you'll see tonight as we consider just two quotations if we, if we have enough time, but it's, it's that kind of a person. I mean, one of my Theological professors once said about another theologian, he said, you need to read everything he says even when you don't agree with him because when you don't agree with him, he sends your thoughts in different directions and you learn new things. And Augustine is like that. He's just amazing. His mind is filled with the glory of God and he's inspired by the Holy Spirit. And his, his understanding of Christianity is mind-bogglingly penetrating and profound. And you need to know that at the outset. 